today we're going to talk about how to improve your second serve percentage when you're facing the break points or any other pressure situations. There's the area. Hi everyone, my name is Milan Krnjetin from Serbia. I'm founder of 10 Fitman and I'm a professional tennis player and coach. Welcome back to another 10 Fitman video. Today we're going to talk about how to improve your second serve percentage and how to stay more confident in those moments when you're facing the break points or any other you know, pressure situations. So how to trust your serve more. Let's go. So lately I've been having some lessons with a player of you know pretty good level but still kind of amateur level and they are like really interested to play more matches and compete and then the problem they had in matches was the second serve and the percentage especially in those you know crunch time pressure situations and uh, it was very tough for them to keep the percentage so this is where I you know started thinking about it and I also had a couple of lessons with them and one actually was today so I want to share the experience and also give you some tips and a couple of steps that I believe it will help you with this. So this video will not be so much about some technical elements of the serve. Uh, we have some other videos on that, but uh, I will more focus about the mentality approach to the serve and also a little bit general mechanics of the serve, the rhythm, the timing, and uh, hopefully all this will help you. So the first thing and the first step that I would like you to understand when trying to improve your second serve percentage is that the second serve actually should not have a slower racket speed or you know just the service motion itself. You should not slow down your racket and the swing because maybe you think it's going to be safer. No, that's the biggest mistake and it's the most common mistake for most of the players at, at this level saying amateur or intermediate level because there is a belief that you know if you slow down you have more control and you will have more steady serve more consistent which is definitely wrong so you gotta understand for the second serve you have to commit to that motion the same way as you do on the first serve right the only difference is that you're gonna have more rotation it's gonna be more slice more top spin more kick but you cannot slow down so you have to you have to commit your racket has to be fast. So now I'm gonna demonstrate a couple of second serves just so you have some idea and I'm gonna kind of aim at that area in the middle of the box kind of body serve. that serve, the second one, I was a little bit slower through the contact point and the ball flew out. So this is what happens and it happened also to the player. I had a training today. I saw it, it's not totally committed. So I told him, accelerate more, you know, go through the ball, trust it, commit, and then it changed completely. So I'm going to try to fix that with this serve here. It's amazing how you actually gain more control when you go faster to the ball. It's kind of counterintuitive, right? You will think it's it's opposite way, but it's not. You gotta trust it, you gotta commit, that's where you get the most control. will be for you to kind of understand yourself better and become more self-aware in terms of which rotation will suit or fit better your serve and your game. So you can choose between slice and the kick serve and I highly recommend you start with a slice serve. It's much more easier to master and it can become more consistent, faster 
so maybe the kick serve can be the next level so you can have more variety but definitely you focus on that slight serve it's gonna make a huge difference so the step number three will be understanding and learning how to practice the second serve in the right way in the correct way and of course doing the practice itself it's the part of the whole process you have to understand that you have to accept that you cannot develop a great consistent second serve especially the first serve as well but for the percentage on both serves here we talk about the second serves you have to put in the work you have to put in the time and a lot of repetition in the correct and right way so the right way will be also having a target I recommend you have a bigger target here and for the player I had recently I recommended that he should aim at the middle of the box kind of going for the body serve which also can be a great serve and top serve for the opponent especially when going with that slides so you might want to mark the middle of that box I will show you later you can put some kind of range like a, you make the area where you want to try to go for that serve there's the area middle of the box body serve and then simply you have to commit and take some time three four times a week for 20 minutes to, to 40 minutes don't overdo it but you have to do it consistently right and I recommend you go for 10 to 20 serves in a row then you have a little bit rest one two minutes so the shoulder doesn't get too sore and uh, throughout the whole exercise try to stay loose it's very important to stay relaxed because the control and the power as well comes from relaxation and looseness step number four and in my opinion it might be the crucial step and the most important thing that you can do to help you improve that second serve percentage on the big points when it's the toughest you know when you get super tight when you feel the most pressure that's when most of the players have the problem right when you're nervous some players are nervous throughout the whole match some if it's a break point if it's a tie break you miss the first serve myself included it's not easy you have to go through those moments so the more you go through the pressure moments the better you you will get so this step is all about creating the environment that will help you to kind of cope with the pressure better this is why the top players like Djokovic, Nadal, Federer and many others of course they are playing the best in those points because they have been through those moments so many times and I'm sure they also found ways to create certain pressure situations in the trainings as well so my recommendation would be that you find a way how you can put the pressure on yourself for some people that can be you invite a group of people just to watch you serve or you make a bet with a friend or you just give yourself the task okay now I'm gonna do 10 serves I have to make 8 out of 10 otherwise I will have to do 50 push-ups or I have to do 10 touches suicides you create something that's gonna make you a bit more nervous of course this is not gonna be the same feel the same pressure you know but you're gonna a little bit get closer to that getting the confidence when you're not feeling comfortable right when you have that discomfort let's do a little experiment see how because I'm giving you the advice let's see if it's gonna work for me I'm gonna create a little pressure for myself and there's gonna be no cutting here so let's go I gotta make one serve on each side in the court otherwise if I miss, obviously it's gonna be a little bit embarrassing for me. I'm not gonna cut this video so you're gonna see everything. And on top of that, I'm gonna have to do 10 push-ups for each mistake. So, one serve deuce, one serve at side, each mistake, 10 push-ups. Let's go. That was tight, that was, but because I accelerated, I got it, here we go, one more. That was very good body serve, more confident. So it's all about that approach, the mentality. So it's all about the practice, like in everything. Repeating in the right way, in the correct way, having the patience and doing it consistently over time this is what is going to make the difference in the end.
And last but not the least, the step number five, make sure you keep track of your progress, of how your serve is improving, the percentage, and you do that by taking 20 shots or, or 50, depends on your level and where you're at in your process of improving the serve, and simply keep track of the percentage you make. So on the day one, you might make six out of 20 or 13 out of 20, right? Write that down, make a note in a little book or in your phone, make a folder and keep the track every time. So definitely your goal will be always to at least repeat the same percentage or improve it. And then by time, 100% guaranteed, if you do it in the right way, as I talked from the beginning, if you go back to the previous steps, when you commit to that serve, you know, you're not pushing, and then you practice the pressure situations by time, you will improve your second serve percentage and you will play better in matches, especially on those big points, and you will have more fun. So, I'm gonna give you one more bonus tip, or the step, you can call it how you want. This is actually, you know, for those toughest moments when you feel the most pressure, this is also what I do sometimes, and it's like about tricking yourself but also kind of surprising the opponent so on the second serve on the crucial point when you feel the most pressure what you can do is go to the net so you play serve and volley well in my case i do it quite often so not just on the pressure situations but i remember before when i didn't go too often to the net i would do that on, on the biggest points i remember there were many occasions i was a set point down and then it was my second serve, right? I would feel so much pressure, you know? I would feel so tight, so nervous. And then what happens if I decide to go to the net? I know I have to go for it. You know, I have to trust it because I'm going into that attack mode and then everything changes, you know? I don't think I ever made a mistake when I went to the net on the big points, you know, especially for this for the second serve. So it's, it's about tricking your mind because from being shy and tight and kind of nervous and under pressure, you trick your mind and you go into that aggressive mode, aggressive state, and you take charge. Because when you want to go to the net of the serve, you have to get that toss a bit more inside. You hit the serve and you rush to the net, and then you take charge. So, I hope you will try it, and I'm sure it's gonna help. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. So now I'm gonna do a couple of serves with that mentality of being aggressive on the second serve under pressure. So I'm gonna kind of try to simulate that I'm going to the net and playing the volley. Let's go. So, as you can see, I put some markers, I use the tennis balls to kind of mark the area for that middle, middle box serve, the body serve. So here you can see, there's the area, middle of the box, body serve, big area, safe, work on that percentage. And I'm gonna try to go there, and this is the right way to practice the percentage because you have a big target and it's the safe serve, down the middle, let's go. As you can see, I'm fully committed to that serve. I'm not hesitating, I'm not shy. I just trust it and go for that shot. So, you can see it from this angle, where is this target. And I will hit a few serves towards the camera so you can imagine if you're a returner, that actually these serves are not that easy and yet they are super safe. Let's go. Check out one serving slow motion. So, 
that will be it for today i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found it interesting and helpful and definitely i'm looking forward to get your feedback please feel free to comment below let me know how it goes if it's working for you or not and uh, if you like the video smash that like button share it with your friends and subscribe to our youtube channel click that notification bell icon so you get notified for every new video i'm really trying hard to make more videos more often but it's very tough super busy you know on the court but uh, i do enjoy this and i feel amazing you know when i when i get the feedback and i know that it helps a lot of you guys so please uh, feel free to, to let me know about it it means a lot and give any suggestions for the future videos i will try to work on that and uh, keep serving keep working on that fast racket speed second serves not be afraid under pressure under any circumstances and situation you know go for it trust it and you're gonna have so much fun thank you again i'll see you soon in our next video